Hello, everybody. Hope uh, you're all doing well today. So, we are back once again with good old uh, Fruit of Grisaya. We had more slice of life type adventures uh, last time. With Amane sneaking, also getting into our bed with us to wake us up, and uh, from context of earlier scenes. Suck, uh, take, having a taste of our lollipop. And also taking a picture of it, and later sending it to us, which then Sachi saw. And yeah, that was a thing that happened, because of course it was. Is a fucking course. We're just, we're gonna be continuing on from that, and um, it looks like Sachi is gonna be telling all of us, all everyone else, what she saw, while also just explaining what we did. Because we also went with Sachi to like supervise a soccer match between some local kids. Because Sachi was asked to do it. And Sachi wanted us there to be kind of that scary person to keep people, uh, you know, cautious and careful so they're not hurting each other. And good old Yuji, you know, fits the bill as being a scary dude. <laughs> Whew. admit I am I mean I've said it a few times already but I am enjoying this game a lot more than I thought I would I, mean, I was already kind of liking it with little slice of life stuff but at least in the common route but now it's it really keeps me intrigued I never know what to expect in this game what it's gonna throw at me next clearly a lot of uh, sexual stuff which whatever <laughs> but also a lot of you know a little more hard-hitting stuff, as we saw in our last two routes. And now that we're in the, on the route with Amane, the quote-unquote perfect woman, what the fuck is gonna happen? Like, seriously, what in the hell is gonna happen on her route? We're gonna load it up and uh, we're gonna see what the hell goes on. まず、<笑> Oh, no, no, he never opened it. Oh, no, he did. He did open the message. Sachi was the one that looked at the image. No, 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 no. We didn't let her see it. She saw it by accident. Temporarily grabbing the position of girlfriend. ないと言い切れるのかな。うん。お、な、
試してみようじゃないのよさサッチこれをサインペンこれで何をするのマキちゃん Where is she going with this? 私のほっぺたに書いてほしいのよさ右の方には一回100円左の方にはおお、そしのぞくピクチャーは、そしのぞくピクチャーは、そしのぞくピクチャーは、そしのぞくピクチャーは、そしのぞくピクチャーは、そしのぞくピクチャーは、そしのぞくピクチャーは、Really selling services really fucking cheap there. A dollar for a BJ, huh? Great deal for whoever's paying, horrible deal for you. I'm just talking in general, not specifically Machina. I, I, that's making that clear. That's like shit prices for you to offer for yourself. Great for someone else, crap for you if you're actually trying to make a good buck out of it. <laughs> Hashtag banana job. Fucking Christ. How you doing, Nick? <laughs> Great entrance. <laughs> Oh, fucking Christ. Why didn't I think jokes like that can be made when I decided to go with Baron Bananas as my fucking name? <laughs> oh, God. Uh... Oh, something's gonna explode in someone's face. I don't know, noon? Oh, that's fucking right. That's what? What? やかましいっつってんのよ。何を興奮してんのよさ。会話に混ぜてほしいなら素直にそう言えばいいのに。じゃあもう誰もそんなこと言ってないでしょ。っていうかお昼食べてる時にそういう下の話をする。そういうのは
Why Yuji? Is it because he's literally the most mature of all of them besides Yumiko? Sachi would s probably say something, you know, horrible, but in a totally innocent way. Uh, Michiru would fly off the handle and sound like a ditz. Machina is Machina. I mean, I'd kind of trust him on, eh? I don't know, of all the fucking students here, <laughs> I would kind of rank the people I'd want to, you know, have on an interview with me in public, uh... Yumiko, Amane, Yuji. Yuji, just because he likes to let little things slide all the time, makes little tiny quips. And plays too much into a joke. <laughs> Yumiko is just Yumiko, we know that. She's the most straight laced of all of the all of them. And then Amane is a close second, but she does have her, you know, slutty big sister side. Ah, Okay, if she needs a fucking bodyguard, all these people that are trying to do something to Tachibana, to Chizuru, I gotta get their shit together and look at themselves in the mirror. We're gonna attack this girl who's a school principal because we feel she's too young and inexperienced to be a principal. I hate people. <laughs> Oh my god. All these girls are so fucking down bad for Yuji, and I don't understand why. <laughs> oh, ミチル様どちらへうるしゃーって。うるしゃーってのはうるしい感傷と何か関係がないでしょっていうか、うるしい感傷って何いや、what is the ま、悪いことしたとは思うけど、いいんじゃないついてくんなって言ってるし。いいのかあいつ、絶対隠れて練習するよ。お弁当のフランクフルト使って。つまり、か、勘違いしないでよね。とか言いつつも、練習をするわ
でこっそり見に行って間抜けな顔を写真に撮ってやろうよあんたらあれか鬼の子か Probably. <laughs> で結局写真は見せてくれないの fuck,、no! だってさすがにねですが何でもかんでも良くないものとして奪い上げるのは教育者の怠慢だとも言いますよ教育者の管理のもとこれは良くないものだと正しく自己認識させるのが教育だと風見さんもおっしゃっていましたマキナの教育によくねえよそういうのいやそのなんていうかちょっと恥ずかしいのよね Like, do you really want to see your big sister in a different light? <sighs> oh, I'm a ne to a moino kiwana hatsugin nano yo sa. Ma, eza, Pogato no tameni, chotto miru da ke nano yo. And Yuji ain't here to defend himself, saying, Hey, um, no, you're not gonna look at my dick in her mouth, please. Oh, oh my god. Great. Oh my god. 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 I wasn't expecting censored. I wasn't expecting that. I mean, I, I, I didn't expect something to be there. I didn't expect there to actually be a phone with a fucking picture. Thank God it was censored. Or this would have been, you know, last stream. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. むしろ美味しすぎてよだれが止まらなかったと。Oh my god, coming from Miss, the water in Spain. Something about the water in Spain lands on my Lady Jane, hashtag wet or whatever that was last time. Fuck. いや、全然違う。っていうかもういいでしょ。携帯返して。うわー、なんだろう。あんまにちょっと遠くに行かれたような気がするのよさそそんなこと別にねえマキナだっていつかは経験することだしそんな焦らなくても I mean good advice there don't rush things don't feel like you need to rush things just because you, your friends are doing it yeah Sure. Let's let's uh, let, 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 let's turn that into a lesson. Just because your friends are doing something that's seen as more mature doesn't mean you need to rush into it too. Oh, I'm going to go to the top. Then 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 I'm going to go to the top. And now Makina has just ruined that. So, I'm going to go to the top. So, I'm g o そりゃさ、学園で唯一の男子だしちょっと悪いことしたかなって思ってるけどさ大丈夫ですよなんだかんだ言っても結局は誰もあまねさんを恨んだりなんかしていませんこうして私やマキちゃんのあまねさんをいじるのも結局風見さんはあまねさんを選ぶであろうということを認めているからですよじゃあ聞くけど。もしユージがサッチャンのこと抱きたいって言ってきたらどうすんのそれはほらうぐって言った何うぐってもし私がオーケー出したらユージに処女あげちゃうんじゃないのポリーズのオプションえっとそ
風見さんがどうしてもとおっしゃるのなら差し上げますマキナおおな、なんなのよさあんたはどうするもしユージが処女くれって言ってきたらえうーんそりゃあねえあまねえの男を寝とるのも悪いし多分あまねえには内緒にするのよってちゃんと言うと思うのよマキナ has no problem wanting to be the side piece God. なんて油断のならない子たちなのあんたたちいいやー出れちゃいますね言っておくけど、褒めてないからね。平気なのよですね。というか、いくら私たちが迫ったところで、面倒くさいと言って、すべてスルーされてしまうような気がします。Yeah, definitely sounds like you, G. そうかなでも、ユージだって男だし。うーん。Okay, so you assume all guys will just go after literally any girl, even if they're in a relationship. UG, if we're doing this, give me your camera. There's someone I have to run this in. Oh my goodness. Ugh. I'm a name, 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 浮気なんかするわけねえのよ案外彼女になって距離が詰まると見えなくなる部分なのかもしれませんねうーんなんか急に不安になってきた私とこの子たちの違いは何だろうこの子たちになくて私が持っているもの I、uh, just sound like a terrible person for a moment. Um, that? What sets her apart from the others is, um, well. Uba. <laughs> God damn, she even fucking said it. So, so did a son of the daughter. Nanka, Mata Kutarane Koto, Moitskiagatana. Oh, my God. Don't see you. マキちゃんなんだろうなもう2 hours after my classmate's supremely vulgar conversation I returned to the school with Chizuru currently I'm receiving a hospitable cup of coffee in her office Did you really even need a bodyguard today? Well, so, eh? Kekatekini was still not at the no commissure and I get all. Anata got the credit of the day. Scotia Kako got say that. Do you to Krokasra? Conotosi de Storimidato, Nanika to Kangarish to Mok de Ne. Hanasai no tema to a pets no ho coni kaiwa mochkomoto to interview Moishi. So, you wanted to walk into the studio with a young man in tow for the sake of your image?
buying men just to show off like a new handbag, huh? Must be nice living at the top. Hmm. Hmm. Thanks. What the fragrant cup of coffee? Something wrong? I feel like I feel like right now Yuji's got the troll problem face. <laughs> Maybe if you got the marbles out of your mouth, people wouldn't take you for a pushover and ask you rude questions on television. Just a thought. Please do excuse my impoliteness, mistress. Goodness gracious. Whatever am I gonna whatever am I to do with this young lady? True enough, my escort duty today was compensated at a fair wage. But that naturally passed through the company, meaning Ichigaya, JB, and the tax man all got their cut. So my actual take-home pay amounted to a mere 2,500 yen for a full day's work. Oof. 25 bucks for working the whole day. That's actually, that's terrible. Of course, she's the dude's a friend, so the money isn't a big deal. I wouldn't have objected to doing the job for free. But as a professional, I'm contractually obligated to pick up whatever money I can for my services. The mission itself was hardly objectionable, objectionable either. But after being forced into a galter suit, carted off to some high-class salon to have my hair slicked down with gel, then having some trendy... What? Fiorucci? Fiorucci? Something fucking French. Eyeglasses with fake lenses pushed onto my head. I'll be damned if I'm gonna talk to the woman like I'm her butler on top of it all. Incidentally, how much longer will you be requiring my services for this little game of house, mistress? I'd really like to get out of this crappy tie sometime soon. <laughs> I was trying to avoid saying this, since it'd be pretty irritating to have have you think I'm whipped already. But to be honest, I want to avoid spending too much time alone with women. <laughs> I'm a man in a relationship, somehow or other. I don't want to make a mana pointlessly anxious if I can help it. Okay, that little noise she made. Holy fuck. And this is why I want there wanted there to be a cheese new route. Oh my god, she's fucking adorable. I love her. <laughs> that's right. I'm a coward by nature. I think that's what kept me alive so far. Cowards have a good nose for danger, and when they catch the scent, they avoid it like the plague. The rank of hero might sound nicer. But you only get there through posthumous promotion. I'll pass for now. There are only three things worth sacrificing your life for. Your country, your friends, or your woman. And if you're willing to die for your woman, you damn well shouldn't go around making her unhappy. Amane reminds me of my mother in some ways. She puts up a bold front, but at heart, she's pretty timid. Might act tough, 
but she'll fall to pieces if she tries to keep everything inside. Troublesome sort of woman, really. If you let her be for too long, she'll get cranky. But if you give her too much attention, it'll make her all the more anxious. For the moment, I'm letting her do what she pleases. Hopefully we'll eventually get more comfortable together. But right now, we're still we're at, we're still at kind of a sounding out phase. I don't want to give her any reason to feel uneasy. <sighs> Well, I can't deny I'm completely inexperienced with this sort of thing. My closest point of reference is working with a partner in a squad, so I'm approaching it more or less the same way. I got enough headaches as is, thanks. I chose a job I can do alone precisely because I'm not cut out for managing a group. I'm still uncertain just how seriously I can take this relationship. But it's exactly because we're at that tentative stage that I'm not being half-assed about the details. That's a big part of the uncertainty I just mentioned. She's offering us something, which is cool. Offering us a job to help with our cover in order to keep our relationship a little easier. Is that a serious offer? I'll think about it. Not an unattractive proposal, to be sure. She's the who's well acquainted with my circumstances, so working at her school wouldn't create any awkward problems or conflicts with my main occupation. Even if I were to sudden be suddenly called to my side job, it's perfectly possible to cancel a lecture and bring in a substitute teacher. And that training camp that runs 10 days a year should be easy enough to fit into one of the long seasonal vacations that come with being an educator. To be honest, I can't predict how long my relationship with Amani will last. But nevertheless, some serious thought about our possible future together might be called for. Hmm. Okay, Chizuru was actually really kind of helpful there in a way, giving us some option. We didn't even take it as a joke. We're like, yeah, sure, whatever, kind of thing, or... It's like, if we stuck with a crap salary like yours, no thanks. <laughs> he legitimately considered it. He is actually fucking considering being a teacher to make his relationship with Amane smoother. Just as I'm beginning to lose myself in serious contemplation of these matters, I encounter the woman in question, sitting at the side of the hallway with an idiotic grin on her face. All of a sudden, it all feels ridiculous. Hey, you. Mm -hmm. Why are you sitting down in the hallway? Stricken by a sudden stomach ache? Mm -hmm. Trying to hold in a violent urge to defecate? Because this man's clearly got a fucking scat fetish. <laughs> Don't tell me you've already soiled yourself. Oh no. 
What? Amane is seated next to a row of vending machines, her bottom flat on the floor and her knees bent in front of her. There's a small sketchbook in her hands. And when I lean over to read the words... Oh, Christ. Amane? We are dating! You do not need to sell yourself! To me! Yuji, whatever! What the fuck? Breasts, 100 yen. Again, these girls, they're selling themselves short here. Like, 100 bucks. Uh, no, sorry, uh, $1, that's it. Here's, here's a loony. I guess I get to do whatever the fuck I want then. Great deal for us, bad for you. Because you're making nothing. The message induced a moment of mild dizziness. Pinching the bridge of my nose, I take a deep breath, then address Amane in a carefully calm tone of voice. Look, Amane. Were you under the impression that my reaction to reading this sign would be... I don't know. Something like... Lucky me! Here goes! One dollar? The ad said three thousand. <laughs> oh my god. Three thousand is overselling it. <laughs> I don't know who are you selling to? That's not the damn problem here. Yeah, sorry. Didn't mean to yell, but can you just stand up already? Having a conversation like this is really awkward, alright? Look, Amane. No, Amane san. I have something to say to you. I, Kazumi Yuji, am not the composed, cool, and confident man you apparently think I am. To be perfectly honest, I was just moments ago worrying myself fairly seriously over my future with you and what path I should pursue in life. In other words, I was earnestly pondering the possibility of forming a family with you. Why is he telling her this now? Uh, Why is he telling her this? Yes, seriously. You may have misunderstood things somewhat, but this Kazumi Yuji individual you've entangled yourself with has a surprisingly strong sense of responsibility. Hold you into my life for my own selfish satisfaction, so I feel obligated to give you something more than sadness and regret. I'm not sure what to do yet, but I've been thinking it over. When the time comes, I want you to look back and think, I was right to choose this man. I want you to be happy. I want you to be happy we were together. Why is he telling her this all of a sudden? I'm reconsidering my very way of life in the hope I can make that happen. And then I get breasts 100 yen in the hallway. Can you perhaps imagine what I experienced upon reading this? Allow me to express it in words. My god. Am I seriously racking my brains over this ridiculous crap? I thought my legs were going to give out from under me. Do you understand? <laughs> to be honest, 
I'm not the good man you might have been imagining you'd end up with. But I'm trying very hard to be something like one. And here you're giving me the casual sex machine act. Makes me feel a little ridiculous about the whole thing. Do you see where I'm coming from here? それは分かるような気もするけど、私だって必死なんだよ。こんなこんなだらけの学園に男が一人ハーレム状態じゃん。そんな中でさ、ちょっとおっぱいが大きいだけの私が貴重な男子を射止めたわけだよ。射止めた
Amane, I love you, alright? I really do. Very much. I'm not gonna lie at a time like this. I mean, it'd be nice if you could trust me on that without having to ask, honestly. Maybe I'll take this the wrong way and start up with the He totally shot me down or My pride as a woman's in tatters crap again But I got my pride as a man too, you know I don't mind being mocked but When someone says That guy's got nothing but breasts on the brain If I were to let it go I'd be tactically agreeing that the woman I fell in love with is a worthless idiot who just happened to be blessed with a nice rack. Okay, yeah. Ignoring the whispers of society sounds very noble and all that, but I'm not gonna put up with that kind of insult. Even if it's coming out of your mouth. Point being, Amane. You can be more confident than this. Do you understand what I'm telling you? Oh my god. Why not? なんか難しいこと言われてもそんなのわかんないよ。結局ユージは私のこと好きなんでしょ。Whatever. <sighs> I just told you, didn't I? Don't make me repeat myself. ユージ照れてるの? <laughs> Of course I'm embarrassed. Anybody would be. <laughs> what now? Don't yank on my sleeve like that. What's with that smirk? You're like a cocky dog demanding a walk. <laughs> hey! Stop pulling! <laughs> I'm gonna guess there's an H scene here that I won't get. <laughs> Look, you. Yuji, I love you. I'll do anything you want. Look, I'm sorry. I'll do anything you want. Yeah, this is just happening. This woman's a runaway sex train! Oh my god. Barbly? Oh my fucking god. I'm not sure what jubbly is supposed to mean. But big and round, I can't deny. For fuck's sakes, what is even happening anymore? <laughs> this is completely idiotic, but I'm unable to resist. Why? Yuji Okay, but... I just don't get it. She's beyond casual about all of this. Is this just how young people are these days? I mean, I know I lived a life pretty well removed from the mainstream of modern society. Even so, it's not like I was on Mars or anything. I hadn't expected a culture shock quite this extreme. Hedonistic, playful sex, using our bodies for purely sensual gratification. Perhaps such uninhibited pleasure-seeking should be indul indulgently tolerated as a privilege of youth. From my perspective, it feels something like coming home from Vietnam, only to have a hippie hurl shit on my uniform. Oh my god. 
This man with his fucking metaphors and similes. But more importantly, no matter how lightly Amani may approach our relationship, I can't allow myself to be equally casual. Freedom isn't a license for irresponsibility. For that reason, I don't think I could push put off this discussion any longer. Hey, Amane. I need to tell you something. It's important, alright? Listen carefully. I know. It won't take long. About my part-time job. My workplace, that is. But, well... And you're willing to accept that? I see. Yeah. Yeah.今日はね、広島さんの牡蠣が安かったから牡蠣フライにしてみた。Oh my god, this game is going to make me hungry. They're a favorite of mine, actually. What's wrong? Something for Yuji? Hmm? What's this thing? Stuffed dog? <laughs> and for some reason, you've written drive carefully on it? だって、あんたがどんな仕事してるかなんて知らないし。でも、危険なお仕事なんでしょ? <laughs> yeah. That it is. Okay, Amane is like super fucking sweet. I love this. She gave us a goddamn gift. A fucking lucky charm to keep us safe on our dangerous job. That she still knows nothing about and chooses to know nothing about. My god. I'm sorry, Mane. Alright. Then... Thank you, Amane. You're a good woman, Amane. You know that? A hell of a good woman. Took a focused effort on my part not to start blubbering like an idiot. I guess most people would probably snicker to hear me say it. Kind of overreacting over a little trinket like that, aren't you? But for me, it's more than enough. If I had to make an analogy, maybe it's something like a short letter from the homeland that reaches a ragged, dispirited soldier on the front lines. A single sheet of paper, written by some anonymous female student as a class assignment. Sometimes, that's enough to give a man courage and the, and the determination to go on. Human beings are simple creatures, at heart. As I hold Amane's amulet in my hand, thought strikes me. A dog, huh? I told her she resembles a dog the other day. 
so I think it's fair to say this was a considered choice. Not only a lucky charm, but also something of a forget-me-not. Dangerous work. Yeah, that it is. No denying it. One way or another, this relationship might end up leaving her miserable. And that's weighed heavily on my mind all this time. But when I accept Amani's feelings in the form of that charm, I felt as though I had received something else in the, in the bargain. Something like a home. There's no reason to overthink this anymore. No reason to get caught up speculating about what might go wrong. If I have a home, all I need to think about is how to keep on finding my way back to it. I'm done worrying. That was sweet as fuck. <laughs> yeah, sounds like a plan. Indeed. Sounds nice. Mackerel happens to be a favorite of mine. You microwaved fish! Oh, that's gonna smell awful for a while in that room. Oof. Workplace culture is never microwave fish in the break room. You're just kind of an asshole if you do that. No one wants to smell that for a while. What's wrong? Go ahead. Jokes on you. If you truly love me, you know I love salmon. <laughs> Hey, Mochi! Oh, redeemed us. Power Ranger, Sentai, or Kamen Rider fact. Alright. Alright, what do I choose? Alright, this will be kind of a joined Sentai Common Rider fact. While uh, Super Sentai and Common Rider are. Well, actually, while Super Sentai is technically a spin off of Common Rider, the two series never had an official crossover until Common Rider Decade. Where Common Rider Decade, while traveling through the worlds, ends up in. Uh, the world of Shinkenger, the currently going on season, and briefly teams up with them to deal with uh, one of their monsters having stolen the secondary rider's uh, transformation trinket and becoming a common rider in a world that shouldn't have common riders. But before that, common riders were mentioned all the way back in like the fucking like 80s. In the uh, Jacka vs. Go Ranger movie. So, the first and second uh, Sentai teams when they had a team up movie way, way back when. They, they very briefly it mentioned a few riders were around the world dealing with uh, problems that were going on before they got into their main plot. That's what he gets for writing Reddit karma. <laughs> what the f <laughs> 
So yeah, how you doing, Mochi? I'm gonna take your points now. Got it. God damn, stuttering mouse again. It might actually just be a bad uh, wireless receiver on the mouse itself. Now that I got the the game and Streamlabs open, that's what I'm thinking is happening. Doing epic as always? Nice, nice, glad to hear. from me. If you're gonna feed me, hurry up and get started. Waiting with my mouth hanging open makes me feel like a complete idiot. Uh, hmm. Damn good. Okay, how about some vegetables next? Hey, give me some of that boiled lotus root. This is delicious, too. I came to the realization that I never had much in the way of dignity to begin with. No point acting proud. If you want to do this sort of thing, Amane, I'll go along with it. Are we done then? It's kind of a pain to have to ask you for every mouthful, to be honest. I'd rather eat as I please. Go away, Makina! Makina, go away. You probably already know where we are, Mochi, but, uh, yeah, she's our. Uh, Makina already said, how about I just crouch down by the vending machines with. Now you know. <laughs> one use, one go for 100 yen on her face. Oh. God, I fucking. Jesus. I wasn't expecting it that early in the morning. Wasn't expecting it that early in the goddamn morning. A boy has finally embraced the hatred for Maki. <laughs> Both the two of them together, when they were selling themselves, or at least parts of themselves, really selling themselves a little too short and cheap. One dollar. Huh? One dollar for their services is a highway robbery for them. Again, great for anyone that actually uses it. Terrible for them uh, in the long run because, again, it's one dollar. You're at least gonna sell yourself. Sell yourself for what you're really worth. Even though Makina, I never want her to sell herself because no. No! I, I, I never want anyone to feel like they have to! You know where I'm trying to go with this. Machina is not allowed to because it's Machina. No one wants that. At least no one with ethics. <laughs> Whatever. It's a game! <laughs> You don't get it, Makina. Dropping food into a man's mouth is a privilege reserved for his girlfriend. 
you want me to eat off your chopsticks, you're gonna need to get the express written consent of Amane. Notarized. In triplicate. Bro, if anyone accepted Makina's offer, that's a straight trip to the slant. Yeah, yeah. True, true. You're dangerously soft. The more you let the little things slide, the faster they'll pile up into a serious problem. Makina, if you want to play sappy lovebirds, you can do it with Sachi. Ah, Sachi. Sorry, would you mind playing a strickenly lovey-dovey couple with Makina? Alright, step one would be to open your mouth. Oh, hi. There you are, Makina. Feed Sachi to your heart's content. Terrible out of context. Good. We have ourselves a lightly erotic undercurrent. This should be acceptable. I refuse. For one thing, it's embarrassing. So, Right, but that's because you were the one feeding me, Amane. There's no damn way I'm gonna let anyone else do something like that. Look, can we just eat already? These sorts of ground rules inevitably get relaxed with the passing of time. So it's wise to start off by making them a little on the strict side. If you're too lenient from the beginning, you'll pay for it later. Also, Makin is really just looking for some attention. No real need to get it from me in particular. Just take a look. She certainly seems to be enjoying herself. Hi, Sachi! Uh, that's called broccoli. Maki-chan, broccoli They taste very fucking different, you little troglodyte. Tanoshi? あんまし。やっぱ私は尽くすより尽くされる方がいいのよさ。今度は私がお兄ちゃんの役やるから、さっちがあまねの役ね。お、うん、分かった。やってみるね。Hey, I got to meet a lot of broccoli and cauliflower. They they have different every that very very different textures and tastes. This little shit is just gonna call broccoli green green cauliflower. Nah. Oh Christ. Hmm. Nani? Personally, I prefer cauliflower. They're both kind of even for me. I will gladly eat either one. 
no matter how they're cooked too, whether it's just taking them raw, like with like in a uh, vegetable platter, or if they're cooked with something or boiled or whatnot. I'm good with both, no matter what. I, they're just both good. Is that a car? Wh huh? And one one K J. Oh. It's a plane. A Shiden. A World War II aircraft. Used by the Japanese. Now, what is the 2J? Oh, Shiden Kai, of course. We got the Shiden and the Shiden Kai. Oh, the Allies called it a Rex. <laughs> And then a George. <laughs> oh. Some people are just very, very uh, into planes, in all honesty. one next to it whatever I'm never gonna find that <laughs> we'll just go with the standard one Navy land based interceptor mm -hmm. and we'll go to the two the Shiden Kai so it's been customized and refined with a different engine Okay, okay, okay. The main difference is they have a different type of uh, the same kind of engine. It's just the one in the, uh, in the K2 compared to just the K, I'm going to go with that one, the K1, is it's got more uh, horsepower to it. So it's a better engine. More, I guess a better, more efficient engine. <laughs> sure. Let's go with that. Oh, God. Fucking. Making me look up World War II aircraft. Thanks, Machina. えっと、その例えはよくわからないよ、マキちゃん。ああ、じゃあ、三式線と五式線ぐらい違う。They <laughs> stuffed more horses in the engine? Yeah! Yeah, they managed to put a few more in there. A few hundred more. It's amazing how many you can fit inside one engine. That's why you have to take it to a mechanic and not yourself. To get it, your car and everything checked out. Because only a mechanic knows how to keep the horses in. You try to do it yourself, you're just letting them all out. And what are you going to do with, like, 14,000 horses, man? Are you able to house 14,000? Probably not. Alright, what the fuck is an army type 3? Is it a gun? Army type 3... Oh my, it's a fucking tank. <laughs> a prototype army type 3, and then there's the 
mass production army type four. Yeah, it's a fucking tank. <laughs> it's a fucking Japanese tank. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Whatever. それも全然わからないよ。えっと、それは飛行機？ママ、飛行機なんじゃみんな同じだと思ってやがるな。そんな認識だから、三式戦とP51Dを誤認するのよさ。Okay, now I gotta look that up. Ugh. Okay, Ki sixty-one. Oh, of course, the Japanese fucking plane again. What, what did uh, what did the, the states call it? Oh, they called it a Tony. And a P fifty one D. Oh, a Tony, and then a, and then the American Mustang plane. It's called a Mustang. The P fifty one Mustang. Oh my god. えっと、ごめんね。今度調べておくから。うん。ならばよし。飯を食わせろ。はい。ああ。どう美味しい。うん。うん。大好物なり。次はミートボールでよろしきや。はい。ミートボールね。あれ触っただけでぐちゃぐ
Lately, I think there have been some subtle changes in the way my acquaintances approach me. My decision to stop overthinking things probably has something to do with it. Have I? Can't say I'm particularly conscious of it. Son of a bitch, you could bring that up. Come to think of it, I've been planning to have this discussion at some point. Tell me, Sakaki, how much have you dug up? My employer, of course. I don't care that you know the truth, but do me a favor and don't spread it around to the others. So you do know after all. Yeah, that's the spirit. Even if the guy who's asking seems like an ally, keep on playing dumb to the very end. That, at least, I'm conscious of. Endure a repeat? that supposed to mean does it have something to do with the reason Amane's at this school so all right then I won't ask you anything more just as I have things I can't speak of to anyone, I'm aware that Amane probably wants to keep certain parts of her past to herself. And if Amane doesn't need to know my secrets, I don't need to know hers. I don't intend to drag it out of her. What? Don't blame the victim. Uh, hey, hold on! What is wrong with that woman? Dropping hints left and right and then runs for the damn hills. Mane's secret. I honestly have no idea what it might be. But just as she's accepted me without question, I'm willing to accept her as she is. Simple as that. I've already decided as much. Nothing else matters. Hmm? What? If it isn't Michiru? Something wrong? Ma. Hmm? You were just making small talk. What? Okay, for one thing, I haven't taken a single step. What's the problem here? Oh my god. No, that's news to me. I'm aware that Amane is my girlfriend, though. That's exactly what it sounds like. Look, what are you so angry about anyway? 
こんなところで他の女と二人きりで話をしてたらそれはもう浮気なんだからね。No, she is our girlfriend. I'm not her boyfriend because fucking reasons. I don't know. I don't really follow the logic here. But wouldn't that mean I'm cheating by talking with you right now? Look, I haven't budged at any point in this conversation. Fair. Tell me something. Why do you keep finishing your sentences with little bursts of awkward English? I really don't remember flirting with anyone. No! あんたがアマネのことをどう思ってるかなんて知らないわよでもねアマネは本気なんだからね We are well aware about that Michiru We know she's serious Well yeah I guess you wouldn't usually give a guy your virginity as part of an elaborate practical joke ムッキーまたあんたはそういうこと言ういやあんたにしてみりゃアマネなんて何も知らないただの田舎娘で適当に遊んで飽きたら捨てりゃいいやと思ってるんでしょこの悪魔ここデビルアマネイスフォン・トキオ、アンプリシュー。どうでもいいでしょとにかくアマネはあんたなんかが思ってるよりずっと重心で臆病な子なのもう、察しなさいよ、鈍い男ね。You're completely incomprehensible. What do you want from me exactly? True enough. I'm aware of that. I'll take good care of her. Yeah, understood. But just so you know, any such action on your part may well cause me to counterattack reflexively. Allow me to apologize in advance. <laughs> I do understand that, but I can't control my unconscious mind. Well, let's see. If it does turn out that way, I guess I'll pay your hospital fees. Dynamic entry! <laughs> She's gonna give you the Kiryu Kazuma special and, uh. freaking pile drive you into the cement. <laughs> God. I'll be as careful as possible, but I'd ask you to do the same. Don't start shrieking about cheating every time you get suspicious. Before you accuse someone of a misdeed, you need to calm down and think things over rationally. This one's even worse than the last. It spits out a bunch of nonsensical accusations that vanishes as quickly as she appeared. Annoying. Yeah. To be honest, I think annoying pretty much covers it. From all accounts, the world seems to be experiencing something of a sundere boom at the moment. I'm deeply and sincerely glad I didn't end up with something like that for a girlfriend. How dare you, sir? That is my best girl you're talking about. She is... 
She's got her own thing going on, and it's her pseudo sundere is endearing. Okay? Okay. Okay? Okay. Okay. How long have you been there? あ、ミチルのドナリ声が聞こえてきたから見に来たんだけど、なんか私の話してるみたいだし、声かけにくくて。誰<笑> Yeah, but it kind of felt like she was throwing a hissy fit while she was at it. Maybe it was a surprise. I don't see how us dating affects her in any way. それに、Yeah, she's also kind of down bad for us, but not as openly as, you know, everyone else. I'm not so sure about that. ミチルにしてみればさ、自分じゃなくて私が選ばれたことが面白くないし。Am I treating you badly? Might not be obvious, but I'm actually trying pretty hard to be considerate of you. So in the end, Michiru just wanted to bitch at me over nothing? That's what you call a hissy fit. せめて焼きもちって言ってあげなよ。もし私が逆の立場で、ユージとミチルが付き合うことになったら、やっぱり同じように、ミチルを大事にするんだよって言うと思うし。<笑><笑> Up for what? Spare me the unattached pronouns. Daily bullying? What? What? Here? People are a pain in the ass. Truth. Look, what are you planning? I'm the one who decided to accept Amane, to be considerate of her needs and play along with her games. Can't very well complain about such minor moments of selfishness. For one thing, I'm pretty sure she's more to this physical need there's more to this physical neediness than her generally aggressive personality. My acceptance offers Amane some reassurance, some relief from her anxiety. That's enough for me. There's no reason for me to run my mouth. I'm guessing they did it in, in like in a classroom again. I refuse. Hmm. Did you get Amane's permission? Amane! Amane te ba! Nani yo? Mo yoru nan da kara oki na koe da asa nai yo? Maybe Christ, of course. They, they, they definitely did then. Ne, oni chan to isho ni o furo hai te i? Eh? Mo so na jikan? Honto da. 
友人悪いけどマキナをお風呂に入れてあげてくれる Fine by me, but when are you planning to bathe the money? Understood. All right, Makina, let's seize the moment. Oh, you need to say it. Of course not. Uh, what kind of person do you think I am, anyway? Yes. So, I'm going to go to the house. 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 Huh? You're what? Do I even want to know? Oh. It's a fucking Japanese submarine. Of course, from fucking World War II. <laughs> God damn, this girl's interested in World War II. You know, everything. World War II Japanese equipment. <laughs> Come on, eh? I promised her after your road. <laughs> oh my god. True. Eagle? なにそれ。潜水艦なのよさ。今日は晩ご飯カレーだったし、お風呂で手に暗号こして、お風呂上がりに最大のもの。まあいいけど、あんま長湯しないのよ。わあってるのよ。ほんじゃお兄ちゃ
She doesn't burst into tears over little failures like opening a milk carton from the wrong end like she used to. Her view of herself is less pessimistic. She isn't wallowing in self-pity over her mistakes. I think Yuji has a lot to do with that. The forceful way he tells her, you can do it if you try, helps. But the confident examples he provides is just as valuable. I'm convinced she really needed that sort of father figure in her life. She's gotten so much more positive and proactive thanks to Yuji that it almost feels wrong to complain, but... I've gotta say, she's also been talking like a military nut lately. Her tone and vocabulary are getting stranger by the day. I mean, I'm not saying it's a bad thing in itself, but Makina's a girl. I can't help feeling a little uneasy to see her transforming into a tiny drill sergeant. Definitely something to address. Oh my god. What the hell? Why does she keep a child rearing a boyfriend? Man. Journal, whatever. Breakfast. Thick whole wheat toast with margarine, alloy yogurt, and a hard boiled egg. Also some minestrone I had waiting in the fridge. Lunch? Grilled mackerel with a side stew featuring carrots and lotus roots. I tried throwing in some dumplings filled with chicken and, and with a chicken and tofu mix, lightly sprinkled with plum sauce. Ate them with no without complaint. How sex is view of Mane? Very, <laughs> very dry. Oh my god. He doesn't seem to enjoy meat as such, but as long as the flavor's not too strong, I don't think it really bothers him. Chicken seems to be a good fit. A nice discovery. Dinner, Navy-style curry, and Makina's request. Demanded it after seeing some submarine movie with a Yuji on, a satellite, t on satellite TV. First thought was, what the heck is Navy-style curry supposed to be anyway? But when I looked it up on the net, I found lots of recipes. I guess it's a traditional sailor food? It seems to be popular in Yokosuka, too. I pretty much just slapped it together from the recipe, but it was a big hit. Yuji loved it. Yuji's total caloric intake for the day, 1920 calories. Slightly on the low side, I think. This is one thing I cannot agree with, uh, with Yuji on how can you not be into meat. Yeah, yeah I, I don't really get it. Meat has a lot of proteins and stuff you'd need, so you'd think he'd be all for it. you think. Apparently not, though. Which is kind of shocking. Though I guess he likes his chicken. Chicken's just good. Chicken and fish are good. But nothing beats a good steak. Grilled to a perfect medium rare. Seasoned. Have a side of, side of mashed potatoes. Maybe even some uh, carrots in there. <laughs> I'm sorry, now I'm just get, getting uh, hungry. <laughs> Now that's a vegetarians, vegans, and herbivores. I mean, that's just their lifestyle? This is a man who just doesn't like meat for no discernible reason. Then again, I do have a friend who just doesn't eat red meat. Reason? He just kind of decided, I don't want to have red meat. He just doesn't want it. He just cut it out of his diet entirely. Odd, but, uh, that's just how it is. Mostly just eats, like, chicken and pork. Doesn't go with beef, unless it's, unless it's, like, in a hamburger. It's just a kind of a random thing he decided to do. Yeah, it works for him. <laughs> just doesn't want red meat. Super horrors are understandable because they only do- Yep, yep, yep. Hmm. <sighs> 
Recently, I feel like he's starting to lose body fat again. Time to slightly increase the carbohydrates and vegetable fats in his diet. What's you know what? Oh my god, she keeps a sex diary? Are we seriously gonna do this? I mean, here of all places? Yeah, sure, let me write down the... I'm not even going to answer that. <laughs> sure, let me write down every sexual encounter I have. Yeah, I'm sure that'll go over well to someone who finds it later on. I don't know. Just got a just felt a chill run down my spine. No. Cut it out. You want to face him on his wrath? Spare me the bizarre analogies. Get over here already. I'll wash your head. Alright, here comes the hot water. I'm aware that Amane is keeping a diary, but I've never once discussed it with her. Honestly, I'm not especially interested. JB once told me that the contents of a woman's diary, like those of her purse, are best left unseen. Helps preserve your pleasant illusions. True enough, I guess. Then again, when I look at JB or Principal Tachibana these days, I get the feeling that clinging too strongly to your romantic fantasies about the opposite sex can be problematic in its own right. In any case, women are complicated creatures. When you actually start dating one, you'll inevitably end up seeing many different sides of her. Sometimes, that must be downright disillusioning. Fortunately, that hasn't been my experience. While I'll admit that I find Amane's hyperactive sex drive somewhat puzzling, I really don't have anything to complain about in that or any other regard. Yeah, people are complicated creatures. <laughs> Got that right. I understand that women at her age have a strong sense of sexual curiosity. And after all, this is her first relationship. It's only natural that she'd want to try out a lot of different things. And while I can't deny the possibility something else may be motivating her behavior, I decided to stop overthinking things. I'll give her my half-hearted cooperation until she gets bored of these aggressive carnal antics. Man, sometimes you get really carbon date the 2011 writing. Yeah! <laughs> Save us, Chang. Just hit a save point right here, right now. Oh, oh, welcome in, any given chance. How's it going? Not a whole lot is uh, going on. At, I mean, I mean, a lot is technically going on. Finding out more and more about her girlfriend, but not really, and not wanting to push to find out more, it's... Eh, it's complicated. 
<laughs> Everything's complicated. It's always complicated. I'm also going to try and order some lunch and or dinner. Might end up just being dinner. While I'm at it. Oh, oh, oh. oh, good lord. No, oh, no wonder I'm freaking tired. I went to bed at like after 2 a.m. That was because, well, the, the rat or whatever is in the ceiling isn't gone. Thought it was gone after two days of hearing nothing. And then I heard it again last night. And also I was caught up watching someone stream. And they went longer and longer, but it was still too fucking funny while watching. <laughs> Not that much. Which routes have you finished so far? So far, I have finished uh, Michiru and Sachi's routes. And currently on Amane's. That wasn't too obvious from the title. <laughs> you went to bed at 6 a.m. Mochi! What the fuck, man? <laughs> I'm never getting pizza from one other place on here ever again after they tried to screw me out of money. I'm gonna go on a brief tangent about a pizza place very, very briefly without actually naming what they are. They have a, uh, basically, be they have one of those it'll be there in 50 minutes or it's free de kind of deals. It's listed on their site, and there's no, like, asterisks or anything, you know, to m easily get them out of it. So, I ordered. I ordered pizza. Nothing even anything crazy. I think it's just literally pizza and maybe some chicken wings. And I'm watching. I'm watching. It's like, oh, time's going. It's like, okay, they've got... Two minutes at this point. I'm waiting at my front door. I was waiting there for at least a good ten minutes beforehand. It's like, just waiting. It's like, okay. Is it actually going to be free this time? Get a call that's from them saying, Hi, your driver is outside. Uh, can you go and meet them? I'm like, they're not outside. It's like, oh, uh, yeah, hold on. It puts me on fucking hold for the next two minutes. Or actually, next like almost five minutes, I then see the guy like see a car rushing down the street and then pulling up. He's like, "Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, your driver got the wrong address. He's here now." It's like, "Okay, so my order's free." Then it's like, "No, it's not free. The driver was on time." It's like, "No, he fucking wasn't on time." It's now like five after the time he was supposed to be here. I saw him pull up after the time. He was not on time. I was like, no, the driver was on time. You're not getting it free. And then he hung up on me. He's like, you motherfucker. <laughs> I took the pizza and everything, ended up fucking emailing their corporate email, telling them what happened, and then saying, yeah, if you don't, uh, you know, uh, resolve this situation, I'm basically going to go to the media kind of thing and or to like to like better business bureau stuff like that and well within like maybe not even an hour I got an email back saying we're gonna look into the situation we apologize we will be refunding it for you and I'm like thank you and I sent them an email back saying thank you very much <laughs> just thank you for replying so quickly I appreciate it kind of thing <laughs> So, I got my free pizza in the end, and I'm now uh, never ordering from them again because of that. Y I usually order from them. I have ordered from them a lot in the past. Not anymore. Not after that kind of bullshit. You fan about the bot sack? 200 down <laughs> Great, more Grisaia fans. They're out there. They're out there. <laughs> now pull a Walter White and throw it on the roof. 
Yeah, but then I gotta pull it off the roof. And I don't want to waste food. Also, my roof is a tad bit higher than uh, his was. Thanks for the follow, appreciate it. Sorry if I'm really, you know, putting this on hold to figure out what the hell I'm gonna eat. <laughs> I looked up pizza on fucking Uber Eats, and one of the options, one of the things I'm starting to see is a sushi place and a sub place. <laughs> Like, I'm sorry, that is not pizza. Wait, am I actually at 150 followers? You're now making me open up everything. Okay, you met yourself. Okay, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Was not sure there for a second. <laughs> all good, all good. Hell yeah, 150 followers. Nice one, Mochi. <laughs> Best girl? Ooh. That's always the question of the century. Stuff I was in a sim for a while. Okay. We're in a money sim for a while. Okay, okay. Fair. Yeah, I autocorrect a bitch. <laughs> Sometimes. All right. 
ordered. You stay standing, Sachi. We know, Mochi. We know, and you know, I'm the Mich. I'm, I'm all, I'm all for Michiru. I love, I love my sundares. <laughs> the pseudo sundare is just even more endearing. <laughs> basically gonna go until I see this thing has been picked up, more or less. My, the thing I've ordered. Or maybe a little before that. I'll go a li I'm gonna go a tiny bit longer. Just because I'm also gonna be having a stream later on today, also. <laughs> One day you'll realize the glory of Sachi. <laughs> but it's not this day. I'm starting to appreciate Michiru more, relate to her story. Mm. That's two of us, Mochi. That's two. Kamusa Hamunida. Nani sono sandan katsuyo. Teyuka, saigo bits no yimi ni natirio ne. Natsuya simi gurai de dos te sokoma de tension wa agerare de no kushigida wa. Summer vac vacation is great when you're in, you know, elementary and high school, maybe college, sorta, not really. Guess what? When you work in the tourist in industry, summer vacation is the worst. Ah, we get so fucking busy. Oh god, I geesh. I could go on a long ass rant. I won't. <laughs> Cause anyone that's had to deal with tourists know how Ugh they can get. And guess what? During the pandemic, the ones that were able to come around were pretty bad. It can get pretty bad. I want Daddy Baron to be my. Tr oh my God. I wasn't a tour guide, but oh, I dealt with a fuck. I still deal with. I always deal with tourists. It's very rarely I'm dealing with the locals. It's always. Tourists. <sighs> Work in an arcade long enough, and a lot of things people say is you just don't want to respond anymore. Like, oh, those are my tickets, right? I don't even respond to it anymore. The only time I do respond is when, how much for that uh, stack of tickets? I will just say, I'll just tell them how much my salary is at this point. Actually, I'll probably just do more. Oh, you want this stack of tickets? Uh, all right, forty grand every year for the rest of my life. If I give away a stack of tickets. I am giving up my job. <laughs> so it ain't worth it. I'm not losing my job <laughs> just to give you a stack of fucking tickets. <laughs> I like Yumiko's voice actors and everything. Same with Machina, huh? I think I tried looking up their VAs when I first started, and I don't think anything really super shot out to me of things they've done. Then again, I don't watch a crap ton of anime. So that definitely has something to do with it. I kind of pigeonholed myself in only liking a few things. I'm trying to branch out, though. Right. I'm failing. Jugyo がないということ以外、何も変化はないような気もするけど。ユミちゃんは若いくせに枯れた老人のような発想なのよさ。夏なのよ。夏といえばチャレンジの季節。<laughs> 
新しいことに挑戦する気持ちをなくしたらすでに老化は始まっているのよ<笑>そうよねお兄ちゃんうんあいや guess so 世の中は絶えず進歩し続けるその進歩についていけず変わることを恐れて自分の中にある価値観にしがみつきI gotta start bringing a phone down here with me. I don't have a phone next to me, like uh, back in my old, uh, in my old room. There's no jack down here for me to have one. Scams? No, this one is actually not a scam this time. We know, we know, we know this one. They call every once in a while, saying they'll have a truck coming around asking for stuff. So a lot of the times we don't have things. When we do, it's usually a bit. Yeah, it's, 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 an, it's actually real. It's for diabetes. <laughs> yeah, this isn't anything bad. Not a scam asking for shit. We do get a bunch of scam calls, though. I just hang up on them. I don't give them the time of day. Top to tolerate, but too close to the truth to brush aside. An excellent piece of agitation to produce such marked irritation in an apathetic modern youth. You might have a future in psyops. Kazami kun, mata anata yokei na koto iris san ni fukikonde. Hmm. Right. My bad. Makina, listen up. Saki has the right of her, has the right to her own opinion on summer vacation. From her perspective on the world is her perspective on the world is just as valid as yours. For example, 
Change isn't always a good thing. Huh? Yeah, yeah, what are you talking about? Oh, right. Isn't Sack Sack that bread made from scratch with Sago Palm from the Sago Palm tree? Oh, maybe with starch. Why did I say scratch? What a. Ugh. I'm getting hungry and can't read again, even though I couldn't read before. Hi.先日、マキちゃんと Girls found herself some motivation. No need to be a wet blanket. It's better than idling away the time without an objective whatsoever, wouldn't you say? You better. She's a good cook. <laughs> In that case, Makina, how about getting a part time job at a bakery? Makina, Michiru's opinion on the matter seems clear. Tell me. Do you agree that it's hopelessly beyond your capabilities? Nicely said. So much the better if she does. If you don't learn how to, if you don't know how to learn from your failures, you'll never succeed. Once a kid's out of elementary school, you need to stop holding their hand all the time, or they'll never grow up. Let them run around and trip and skin their knees. That's how they learn to pick themselves up off the ground. <laughs> If you get moist this easily, you're gonna end up getting mildew down there. Nani sore. Anyway, Makina, having an objective is a laudable thing. Devote yourself to your baking this summer, then fly off to Leyte or Luzen as your whims direct you. I, those are definitely places that I don't know. And so, with Makina's borderline nonsensical explosion of enthusiasm, our summer vacation began. I come back to the word moist, noise, oh my god. <laughs> god fucking damn it. Having a goal in life is a truly admirable thing. 
just as I pompously informed Machina. But it's not like I've got any well-defined objective of my own. It's been that way for a long time. I float through my days without any clear direction, staying alive for lack of a better alternative. Every once in a while, someone remembers I exist and shoves a job on me. I thought I came to the school in order to change that aimless way of life. Not that I had any idea what sort of change I wanted. I didn't come in with, an over, with any overblown expectations. Just a vague anticipation of something new. As it turned out, what changed wasn't so much my purpose, purposeless routine. It was the way I viewed the scenery floating past. In other words, my way of thinking itself has changed. Never saw that one coming. And I miss Machina's Nana Yos. It's been a while. Give it time. Give it time. Oh, god damn it. Making me too hungry. Sushi on rice with clam chowder? The menu's never exactly coherent, but you're taking things to a whole new level of weird. <laughs> A combination of a very Japanese seafood dish and a very western soup. It's the culinary equivalent of wearing a kimono with combat boots. But mysteriously, when it actually when I actually give it a try, the tastes don't particularly clash. Most likely, Amane's diligent efforts weren't directly s directed solely toward the nutritional front. I'm sure she adjusted the flavor of the two dishes to complement each other. The sushi is lightly seasoned with shiitake mushrooms and other vegetables, all boiled to a pleasant firmness. The chowder is just salty enough. Scent reminiscent of the sea. A surprising combination, yes, but the taste is soothing. Sorry, my buddy just messaged me. He finally did something that's took him five years to do. He got every Disney movie released on VHS finally. <laughs> it was something he was gathering for his uh, uh, then girlfriend, now wife. And he just finally completed the collection, so he has every mo Disney movie ever released on VHS in at once, in on one collection now. Some were hard, harder to find than others, but he finally got the last one. Which... I can't even remember which one it is. See if I can figure it out. If it was released on VHS, yes. I think mostly the animated stuff. But still, yeah. He had a list and everything. 
constantly looking at thrift stores and online, and, uh, yeah, just slowly built, built it up. And he just finally got the last one, uh, today. I'm willing really to have to look up Disney movies. Christ. This is gonna be a problem. <laughs> No way it was Salados Amigos. I'm pretty sure he. Or was it? No, definitely wasn't Salados Amigos. No, it wouldn't be Sun and South. No, not that one. Okay, I'm gonna make this easy and look up Goofy. And go from there. Goofy Disney. <laughs> and just look up everything he's fucking been in. Which I mean is a lot. But still. It'll work. I can also just stop being dumb and, you know, actually ask him which one that was again. I'm actually going to do that. Sorry, I'm just now really invested in figuring this out. Oh my fucking god, it was Salados Amigos! <laughs> okay. So that's what he's been waiting on for so long, just trying to find a VHS copy of Salados Amigos. So yeah, he got them all! He has all the animated Disney movies on VHS in one collection now. Took him five whole years to do it. <laughs> but he did it! His wife's birthday, Christmas, whatever gift is finally complete. <laughs> God damn. Dedication. Massive amount of dedication. I applaud him. I applaud him big time. I remember him telling me that's what he was doing this all those years ago. Finally done. <laughs> oh, my food is actually going to be almost here. Indeed it is. My mother must have raised her well. Marry a woman like this, and you'll never come to regret it. Machina, my friend, I encourage you to learn from her example. <laughs> Hardly anything to complain about. Gives you that home cooking feel, right? It's like something a mother would make. For me, maternal cooking is associated with memories of canned food. But Amane's meals always make me think of the idealized, perfect mother I pictured as a child. Her food's comforting, somehow. If you have the money to spend, you can get as much exotic gourmet food as you want. But a meal that conveys this sort of simple, earnest warmth is far harder to come by. <laughs> Oh, 
毎日病院で食ってたべっちゃべちゃで味のしないご飯よりは全然おいしいし感謝もしてるのよ。Yeah, guess what? Hospital food isn't there for you to, to taste good. It's there just to give you, you know, the shit you need. I've mentioned before, when I went to Japan, oh my god, most of my meals came from a convenience store. Mostly being、uh, the, the multitude of different types of sandwiches they had. My god. I ate so many of those sandwiches, I could not get enough of them. I actually ended up losing weight by the end of that trip. <laughs> Despite how much of that shit I was eating. Also, I was doing a lot of walking, though. And a lot of riding the train. It's the only way we can get around. But it was nice. Trains were always on time. And would show up right when it said they would. Oh, <laughs> それとあんたはもう少しゆっくり食べなさいよちゃんと噛んでるおお、口うるさい母親モードに突入して<笑>風向きが怪しくなってきたのよさ<笑> What's that sound? The grating pattern of electronic beep seems to be emerging from the egg-shaped digital pet dangling at Makina's waist Oh my god, she actually got a bit interview. <laughs> well, she did finish everything on her plate before she ran off. No big deal. I understand how you feel, but the girl's jumping into this of her own initiative. That's a good thing, don't you think? All you have to do is take a step back and watch her over, watch her, watch over her affectionately. <laughs> Makina being the way she is, it'd be stranger if you weren't at least a little concerned. Unless you show some faith at times, it'll undercut her self esteem. Give her an excuse not to try. It'll be alright. Makina's much more clever than she looks. She'll do well. Hmm? What's so funny? You might be right. こうして何でもない毎日を普通に過ごせるのって幸せだよね。Yeah, you're definitely not wrong about that. Normal. Right. Normality. I hadn't been looking for some dramatic change from the start. I wanted to find my way to exactly this sort of peaceful, commonplace existence. The ability to appreciate such things is mostly reserved for the elderly. The exception would be those who've been made to realize the value of a normal existence early on. By exposure is something worse. Amane, are you.、Mm -hmm. No, it's nothing. Eh? Nani? Hen na yuji? Come to think of it, 
The word normal is as vague as it gets. Normal. Typical. Average. These are relative points of reference, entirely dependent on your environment. You don't have to kill anyone. No one tries to kill you. No one screams in your ear in the middle of the night. You won't see a corpse rotting inside a train carriage. Jesus Christ. A moment of pleasure doesn't drag you down into self-loathing and guilt. A moment of misery doesn't lead you to curl up into a ball and weep for forgiveness. Is that what most of us mean when we, we say the word normal? The absence of such things? Probably so. But there are people who've lived with such abnormalities as their normal. Living normally is far more difficult than it sounds. It's only possible when you found yourself a suitable environment. Someone, someplace, something that enables you to live in peace. I probably came to this school in an attempt to find what I'm missing, or what I was missing. And now that I think about it, the thing I needed... Oh my god, is this thing gonna end? <laughs> Might as well have been a woman like you, Amane. Huh? Nothing much. Just admiring your knockers. Impressive as always. I'll save that for later. For the moment, I'm gonna wash my hair. Alright then, if you would. Okay. By now, I've gotten pretty accustomed to Amane's relentless attempts to take care of my every need, as if I were some helpless invalid. She must have grown up watching her mother devotely serve her father, and evidently internalizing the idea that waiting on men hand and foot was a woman's normal role. That was my original guess, at least. But when I actually asked her, it seems the truth was quite the opposite. If anything, her father was the busybody of the family. I got my looks from my mom and my personality from dad. Right. Amane's family on her mother's side runs a well-established restaurant in Kyoto. Her father had been a cook there. After marrying the owner's eldest daughter, he set up his own branch in Tokyo. Probably because of that history, his attitude toward Amane's mother was always deferential, even servile. Apparently, every once in a while, he'd slip up and call her Miss in his own home. When I hear Amane describe the man, he really does sound a lot like her. A pushy busybody with a fundamental timid streak. <laughs> Mash your tits against me, woman. <laughs> but who did she get this total lack of shame from? Amani herself tells me she inherited it from her grandmother. It seems the old woman had quite the rack herself back in the day, and taught Amane that breasts are weapons to be used aggressively in conquering men. Jesus Christ. Well, I'd like to be like to have a frank exchange of opinions with that grandmother of hers. Amane's stories of home always leave me with the impression of a lovey, loving, happy family. As someone who has nothing of the kind, I'm envious. Sometimes it's hard to listen to her without feeling a twinge of bitterness. But even when I know it's showing on my face, Amane keeps right on going without a hint of concern. She always concludes her stories with the same phrase. If you marry me, they'll be your family too, you know. Yeah. Not an impossible scenario. I've already begun to consider the possibility of starting a family with Amane. And more importantly, the girl seems to be quite willing to move things in that direction. 
even eager. After summer vacation started, on more than one occasion, we literally spent an entire day in each other's arms. That was a bit over the top, any way you look at it. Huh? Nani? Our marathon. Even for me, 12 times in a single day was a first. Dude. Ow! Literal death by Snoo Snoo at this point if they want to keep going 12 times in one day? Holy fuck! Can't say. Never tried. If a red one pops out at the end, wouldn't it give a yellow wouldn't it give a yellow one first? Oh my god. Right. Seems logical. What's with you? <laughs> All men look like idiots to a sensible woman. Better get used to it. Hmm? <laughs> Have a baby, as far as I'm concerned. I've got the savings to support a kid or two, so long as we're reasonably frugal. Hey, guy! No. I just haven't really had anything to spend my money on. A girl, I'd say. I like the idea of playing with my daughter in the bathtub. Explain yourself right now, Yuji. Okay, woman. You've crossed a line here. Hmm? Mane, have you lost a little weight? Ah, Hmm. Hadn't even considered the idea. Alright then. I'll give it some thought. What are we talking about here? An amusement park? Something of that sort? Let's see. The zoo sounds most appropriate in that case. Wouldn't exactly be a date if we did. Just us, alright? I need this scene to finish up so I can go and grab my pizza waiting outside. <laughs> well, if we ask her straight out to let us have a date to ourselves, I doubt she'll throw much of a fuss. Don't worry, I'll handle that. Good question. Well, any day is fine by me, I guess. Okay, if she's this excited to go on a date, oh my god, she's a fucking keeper. You want someone to be this excited to go on just a one-on-one, -on -one, you know, outing. Like, my god. Fuck, she's so good. I, oh, I love fucking loving her more. Pretty sudden, don't you think? Well, alright. I hate to distract you from your enthusiasm, but how long do you plan on leaving me covered in bubbles? Uh, 
I was gonna make her this happy. I wish I'd come up with the idea earlier. It was a carefree thought, a product of a relaxed life I'd been enjoying of late. I guess I'd just forgotten. However, my perspective on the world might change. A truly normal life requires something like freedom. That's something you don't technically have. All of them are likable? Yeah, that's true. Whew. Oh, the next one is, I guess, Yuji's Pass, Amane's Pass? Okay, that's gonna be something for later. But that is where I'm calling it for now. As you can see, I'm gonna schedule over uh, to my, my left your right i will be back at 7 p.m later today this is est by the way for some kingdom hearts dream drop distance get a little bit more of uh that game in because <laughs> the more i do that game the closer and closer we get to kingdom hearts 3 <sighs> but anyway Thank you, everyone, for watching, commenting, lurking, and following. I appreciate it very, very much. Uh, you can uh, check me out on Twitter or uh, join into the Discord to see any updates of whether the schedule changes, things get canceled, move around, all that fun stuff. Those are the two places where you'll be able to get all that kinds of news. But anyway, I hope you all have yourselves a great uh, rest of your afternoon. And I'll see you later.